Hi guys, Roman Sliders here. It's the 8th of June 2012, and E3 is officially over, so here are my highlights from the three big platforms. Starting with Nintendo, the big end surprised everyone with a pre-E3 conference on Sunday, detailing the features of the Wii U. Speaking on Nintendo Direct, company president Sarato Iwata revealed a new redesigned Wii U gamepad with analog sticks in place of circle pads. Iwata stated that circle pads were more appropriate for portable devices like the 3DS, and that the Wii U itself lacked as an independent infrared TV remote. Iwata went on to speak about the asymmetrical diversity of having different screens with different abilities, and unlike the dual screen system with the DS and 3DS, the relationship between the two screens on the Wii U will be more dynamic since the two aren't fixed. The gamepad will have motion sensors as well as gyro sensors, allowing the two screens to work together in unprecedented ways. The Wii U Pro Controller, similar to the Wii Classic Controller, was also unveiled to cater for more traditional gamers. New social features like video chat and searching through the community for answers to video game questions were shown along with the new dashboard, which will be called the Miiverse. Miis will be able to communicate with simple text messages with the Wii U gamepad, used as a social window capable of linking players together. The press conference focused more on the Wii U hardware itself, with the E3 conference displaying actual titles. Come Tuesday, Nintendo showed a number of new games, like Pikmin 3, demonstrated by none other than Shigeru Miyamoto, and other first-party titles including Wii U Fit, Sing, Zombie U, and Nintendo Land, a virtual theme park with 12 attraction-based minigames themed on a particular Nintendo franchise. Although, in my opinion, the Nintendo Land section went on just a bit too long and could have been devoted to other titles. Third-party efforts included LEGO City Undercover, an open-world game which sees you playing as a detective, Batman Arkham City Armored Edition, the Wii U version of the game will feature much more interactivity between the gamepad and the main device, mainly to select and control gadgets, and Scribblenauts Unlimited. Nintendo also hopes to bring back a core audience of older gamers, with mainstream titles like Mass Effect 3 and Tag and Tag Tournament 2. The 3DS also had a brief presentation, although it would have a longer conference on Wednesday evening, but the main titles revealed were New Super Mario Bros. 2, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, and Paper Mario Sticker Star. For the first time since the launch of the Nintendo 64, a new Mario game will be available at launch for the Wii U, in the form of New Super Mario Bros. U, which is pretty big news. Moving on to Microsoft, the computer giant had its press conference on Monday morning and started with the unveiling of Halo 4, now in hands of 343 Studios, displaying the new take on the franchise. Other titles included the revamped Tomb Raider, which looks like a must-have, Fable the Journey, Gears of War Judgment, South Park The Stick of Truth, and Splinter Cell Blacklist, which should be available in Spring 2013. An interesting note about Blacklist is that Sam Fisher wasn't voiced by Michael Ironside, which I thought was a real shame, and instead Sam sounded much younger, leading me to wonder if this is a prequel. The main news from the Microsoft conference was the introduction of Xbox Smart Glass, an app for PCs, tablets, and mobile phones that will let users control their Xboxes remotely, juggling video between tablets and console, offering two screen features for both games and movies. That sounds familiar. Nike has also partnered with Microsoft to bring Nike Plus Connect training, which will provide players with a variety of workouts. The Xbox 360 will be getting its own web browser in the form of, surprise surprise, Internet Explorer. A new IP was shown called Ascend of the Gods, with the conference wrapping up with looks at Resident Evil 6 and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Last but not least we have Sony, who had their conference on Monday evening. Sony kicked off their show by unveiling Quantic Dream's new title Beyond, featuring the voice and likeness of Ellen Page as a mysterious young woman called Jodie Holmes. The Smash Bros. clone PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale was showcased alongside two new playable characters, Nathan Drake and Big Daddy. Ubisoft announced that along with Assassin's Creed 3, where they showed a nautical themed trailer, the PlayStation Vita will also be getting its own game in the form of Assassin's Creed Liberation, featuring the series' first female protagonist and is set in New Orleans. Other games on show were 4-player co-op for Far Cry 3 and the announcement of Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, but no gameplay was shown. A new IP on display was Wonderbook, Book of Spells, set in the Harry Potter universe and written by J.K. Rowling herself. Wonderbook will be a series of interactive books utilising augmented reality technology and the PlayStation Eye, allowing visual effects to appear from the book on the screen. With Book of Spells, the user can have the PlayStation move in one hand, which acts as a wand, and be able to learn and cast spells. Again, like the Nintendo Land feature, while interesting, this segment went on far too long and could have been used to give more coverage to the PS Vita. 
God of War Ascension will release on the 12th of March 2013, with the demo seeing Kratos taking on lots of elephant shaped enemies. The conference ended with a look at Naughty Dog's latest project, The Last of Us, set in a post apocalyptic world and ending in a literal head blowing climax. All in all, E3 was okay, aside from some great looking games, there was nothing special and in Nintendo's case, things we had seen before. Sony had the best conference, starting with Beyond and ending with a heart pounding trailer for The Last of Us, which I might actually get a PS3 for. Nintendo made a big mistake by ending with another look at Nintendo Land and should have ended on something new like Project P100, and Microsoft did a good job. There was no talk of the PS4 or the Xbox 720, but that was to be expected. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Like me on Facebook if you want the latest goings on, and remember to like and share this video as that will be great. Until next time, peace out guys.